Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspiration and I've got guided to do a slightly different message today um, so this is for those of you in separation, no contact um, if you recognise as a twin flame soulmate connection um, I got guided to do a channeled message um, it's going to be in two parts so we're going to look at the Divine Masculine thoughts what is he thinking right now about his Divine Feminine and the connection and part two will be on patreon which will be divine masculine's feelings about the connection so it's channeled messages so i've pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to see what comes through <clears throat> what the masculine wants to say what his thoughts are right now this is right now tapping into the energy now i just want to say a big thank you to everyone for your support your love um, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. It really does help my channel grow. I'm doing a special offer at the moment, £15 for a personal reading. My, just email me, the links are down below, and you will get the reading back within 24 hours. Um, so that's till the end of February. And check out my deck shop, Over 90 Designs. And again, you can get a free reading that way if you purchase decks to the value of £30 or more. And my Patreon, just $5 a month. And there's a big back catalogue and some of the readings are exclusive to Patreon on there. And once you join that as well, you can get a free reading once first payment is received. So there's several ways to get free readings from me. So as I say, we're looking at Divine Masculine Thoughts. So this is as if your person is speaking to you. Okay, so we're going to get started. My darling Divine Feminine, you are such a loving person, such a caring, compassionate person. And the way you were so open with me about your feelings, about your love, I did feel your love, even though I didn't open up to you in the same way. Deep down, I could feel your love so much within me. And I'm so sorry that I hurt you. I appreciate you even more now. Since we've not been speaking or even seeing each other, I realise what I'd lost in you. Such a beautiful, kind heart. Such a warm person. And I appreciate that more. I mean, the saying goes, you have to appreciate, you have to lose something to appreciate it. And I feel that's what's happened. And I'm so sorry that for any hurt or pain I've caused you. I really am sorry. I feel that I've come more into balance. I think I was very in my masculine. I wasn't in touch with my feelings. And you were such a caring person to me and the more you did that the more I shut you out but now I've been really getting more in touch with my feelings and really going to that deep part of myself those deep feelings within me and really acknowledging how I feel about you and I guess you could say balancing it out balancing out my energies within me because I was so out of balance And I know I've been working on my self-worth, my self-esteem. I didn't feel worthy. I didn't feel deserving of love. I pushed it away. I denied it to myself. But I've worked on myself and I know that I deserve more. And I deserve to be happy. And I've been doing that work on myself. I've been doing healing. I've been seeing a healer. I've been trying to let the past go and release all those toxic, negative things that happened to me. Because it's just a lesson, I know that. And holding on to it wasn't doing me any good, as you know, it wasn't. All I ever wanted was to have a happy family life. That's all I ever wanted. You know, the mum, the dad, the kids. You know, to enjoy each other, to, to see our children grow and prosper. And I did have a family life. But it wasn't happy, sadly. And my childhood wasn't happy. Not in the way I'd hoped. 
So I have a warped view of it because I didn't have that in my life. I didn't have that stability. I didn't feel that love. And I'm not trying to make excuses. But all my dream ever was, was to have this for myself, to create this. And I feel I failed at that because my situation, my, my first long-term relationship, my family life that I had, it just wasn't right. It didn't work out. And I guess I was scared of going there again, thinking there was something wrong with me, that I'm not capable of that. But deep down, I've always wanted that with somebody, the right person. And you know, I have responsibilities with my children. I have that. And I need to take care of them. But I know now that I deserve to be happy too. I know that. You are like a goddess to the moon. You are so feminine, so mysterious. There are so many aspects to you that I don't know or understand. And I want to. And I know I shouldn't put you on a pedestal, but you are just so beautiful to me. So translucent, so mysterious, so spiritual, so wise. And I admire you so, so much. And I want to show you my caring side. I want to show you how much you mean to me. I want to bring you flowers. I want to buy you small gifts. But I know it's not about that. It's my actions. And I know I need to show you by my actions. And any words that I say, I must follow up with actions. And show you how much you really mean to me. How much I really care about you. And I don't know if you can still even feel the same way about me anymore. I've been getting signs and messages about you all the time. You know, I dream about you. I see your name. I hear your name in music. I see visions of you in my mind. They won't let it go. They won't let it go. And I can't let you go. And I hope that you give me a chance to prove it to you that I really want to come forward and put things right between us. I know I need to take action and I'm getting ready to come forward. And I'm doing that work on myself to feel courageous, to feel brave, to be in that self-confidence. Because I don't want to come forward to you feeling weak, feeling undeserving. And once I've finalised the way that I feel, once I feel ready, and I'm trusting in that, I will take action. I get anxiety around it, because I don't know how you feel. I don't know if you've moved on. You may have someone else. And then I'm going to feel a complete fool to come forward when you've moved on. But something is nudging me inside to keep moving, to keep going. Because I feel this connection, I feel this love. And I shouldn't just give up that easy, should I? But my anxiety does hold me back. So I am working on this, trying to resolve this, trying to heal this, trying to overcome these feelings and build up my confidence. I see you as somebody so intelligent, so bright, such a great mind. And I enjoyed our conversations and the way your mind works. And I want to delve more into that. Because I, I really feel that we connect on that level, on that intellectual level, more than anything. And I really miss our deep, deep conversations that we had. You are my angel of love. You helped open my heart again to love. You helped me feel that there was more in the world that there were people that did care, there were people that were compassionate and loving. And I haven't come across too many. And that's why I didn't believe it. I didn't think you were real. And I know that you are now. I know that you were magical and full of love. And I can't believe I pushed you away. I turned my back on you. We always had that very sexy, lustful connection. We always were very turned on by each other and I still feel that way now, even though we've not been together a long time. I remember the times we shared, those moments, and they were high spots for me. 
really high and it still arouses me thinking of that even now. I was in denial for so long and I think you picked up on that. I was in denial of who I was, who you were, what this was between us. I didn't want to face it, I didn't want to admit it even to myself. And I have come to the conclusion that I was wrong and I was in denial. And again, I'm so sorry for all the hurt things I did or said. I have so much gratitude and grateful for meeting you, no matter what happens between us next. And I'm grateful for knowing a person like you, for really instilling in me that there are decent people in the world, that are loving people in the world. And I hope and pray that you will give me another chance. Because I want to end this separation. I want to come back. I want to reach out to you. And I hope that you can forgive me. And I'm working on forgiving myself for all the things I've done and said in my life that were wrong. And I know that I'm not perfect and you're not perfect. And I hope you would just hear me out at least. Just hear me out, my love. I didn't blame, I didn't accept responsibility for a lot of things that happened to me in my life. I blamed others. I blamed everybody. I blamed my parents. I blamed my ex. I blamed my kids. I, I blamed my workplace. I blamed everybody. I never took on that responsibility and accepted that responsibility. And now I realise the common denominator was always me. And I have to take on that responsibility and acknowledge that I co-create these things with others. And I'm letting go of those feelings of blame around others. I doubted you so much. I doubted whether you were genuine. I doubted the feelings, the glimmer of feelings I had within me. I didn't trust. And yes, I have trust issues. And I know that I don't know all the answers. And again, I'm acknowledging that about myself. And I'm releasing that expectation of myself. And I felt so guilty about the way things went between us, the way I treated you. I feel ashamed. And that's part of the reason I've been holding back. I feel ashamed of the way I was treated you. The things I said to you, you didn't deserve that. I'm so sorry. And I felt a failure in life. I felt a failure. All the things that went wrong for me. You know, as I said, I wanted that happy family. It didn't work out in my childhood or in my adulthood. Things didn't go well for me at work. Things didn't go well for me in general. And I felt a failure. But I acknowledge that I'm here to learn and I made mistakes. And I've grown up a lot in that time that we've been apart. I've become an adult. And before I feel I was in childlike behaviour. Because I've worked on my self-esteem. I've worked on my self-love. I'm working on being a better version of me. I want to be the best version of me. And I know I don't want to come forward until I feel that way about myself. And then I can accept any rejection if, I, if you do reject me. But I want to feel really good about myself first. And as I said, I'm balancing out my energies. I'm balancing out, you know, those negative aspects with the, the better aspects to feel good about myself. Acknowledging those tender, loving parts of me, the deep parts of me. Acknowledging that side of me, coming into balance with that, with the more, more feminine aspects, those feelings, those nurturing feelings. But also knowing that I need to take action because I want change. I want things to change between us. I don't want to keep being in this period of no man's land, of not talking, of not speaking. I want to be back in your arms. I want to whisper in your ear. I want to tell you everything that I've been going through and to share and you share with me. And I'm looking after myself better. I'm, <coughs> I'm looking after my health. I'm taking better care of myself because I have that self-love, that self-worth, that self-esteem. And I know it's my responsibility to do that, to be the best version and to be a role model to my children. 
and I know that I'm worthy now of a relationship. I want to have a relationship with you. I want a true partnership. I want to be open and honest and loving and share my soul, my mind, my body with you, my love. Because I want that family life with you. I want to create a home with you. This is what I've been feeling lately. Because there's so much between us, so much. I feel maybe we've known each other in other lifetimes. Because the minute I met you, I felt I knew you. Deep in my soul, it wasn't rational. And I pushed it away. But I've been working so hard on my work, on my projects. Focusing on that to take my mind away from you, from the situation. And I wanted to build up my finances and, and come forward correct and feel worthy, feel that I have enough to give to you. But I was concerned about the way I treated you. I was concerned about how things were left between us. And I, I can't stop thinking about that. How you still feel? Do you still feel anything for me? I don't know. So I do feel I want to reach out with a message to communicate to you because I'm not sure if you're even take my message. How can I reach you? Do you still have the same phone number? Do you still want to hear from me? Have you blocked me? I don't know, but I need to take a chance because I want you to know I'm doing well right now. I'm in a good place financially. I've done a lot of work on myself. I'm in a much better place. I've matured. I've become more confident. And I'm not in denial anymore of how I feel or what I want. Because you're constantly on my thoughts. And I look at the pictures of you that I have. And I remember those times. And I'm lost in my thoughts thinking about you. And as I said, I've been preoccupied with my work, focusing on that. And now that I'm in a better place, I can focus on this more. And I hope I'm not too late. I hope you'll give me the chance to make amends at least, to come forward and speak my truth to you. You deserve that. Yes, I do want to message you. I do want to reach out. It might even be by letter. I'm thinking about sending you a letter. And opening up in that letter the way that, the old fashioned way, I guess, pouring out my thoughts, my feelings towards you. I know I need to communicate and express myself to you and be original in the way I do it. Do it in a way, show you my passion in my words, is what I'm thinking. And I know now I need to take charge and I need to move forward and take have that courage and make changes because I'm feeling much better, much more confident about myself. And it's my choice what I do with my life. It's no one else's choice. And other people have tried to interfere or have interfered <clears throat> in this connection, but I only because I allowed that. So I'm taking back my power and I have renewed faith and hope and I'm expecting a miracle. I'm expecting a miracle. I want it to be a miracle. For you to at least agree to speak to me, I will see as a miracle. I have faith, hope and belief that you will. Because if you truly did mean those words you spoke to me, you will. Because you're a compassionate person. And I have such love, passion and desire for you. And I want to bring that fun, that joy back into both our lives and experience this passion together, you and I, this love, this passion, this joy, because we both deserve it. We deserve to be happy, my beautiful divine feminine.